Random variate generation. Random variates develop understanding of generating samples from specified distribution as input to simulation model. Here, the dis distribution is specified and uh, using those distribution, they generate samples and these samples are given as an input to simulation model. In this chapter, we illustrate some widely used techniques for generating the random variates. The first one it is called as inverse transform technique. The second one it is called as acceptance rejection technique. All the techniques in this chapter assume that the source of uniform random numbers, some uh, consider R1, R2 and so on, is readily available and they are uniformly distributed within the range 0, 1. And, uh, and these uh, generated from random generation number technique, uh, random number generation technique that is your linear congruential method. We'll take up the first one, the first technique that is inverse transform technique, and we'll see how this technique is applied to various types of distributions in generating the random variates which are used as a sample or which are used as an input for the uh, simulation model. Coming to this inverse transfer technique, inverse transfer technique can be used on uniform distribution, exponential distribution, variable distribution, and triangular distributions. This um, inverse transform technique, they are useful, and um, they are useful whenever um, we have the cumulative distribution function. And by using this cumulative distribution function, we can easily identify the F inverse, that is, a meaning is what f inverse easily then these inverse technique can be useful uh, we need to follow some steps whenever we are using inverse transform technique either on any one of these distribution either it can be uniform exponential variable or triangular distribution the steps are as follows coming to the step one we compute the cdf of the desired random variable x now whichever the distribution we have considered those distributions will be having the cumulative distribution function and the probability density function the first thing we are supposed to do is compute the cumulative distribution function of the desired random variable x then set f of x your f of x it always represents what the cumulative distribution function set uh, f of x equals to r on the range of x. The next thing we are supposed to do is solve the equation f of x for x in terms of r. That is, we are going to calculate what x equals to f inverse of r. We are not going to identify f inverse, but whenever we are going to convert the f inverse, we are going to solve okay the cumulative distribution function in terms of x that gives what f inverse of R. Generate uniform random numbers R1, R2, R3 by putting Xi equals to F inverse of Ri. So these are the steps need to be followed whenever we are using inverse transform technique on any one of these distributions. We'll take up the inverse transform technique with one distribution. The first one is inverse transform technique for which distribution? Exponential distribution. Coming to this exponential distribution, this exponential distribution, it is continuous. This exponential distribution has got PDF as well as what? CDF. And the PDF is represented using f of x equals to lambda into e to the power of minus lambda into x, where the exponential distribution has got only one parameter that is lambda. And coming to the CDF, the cumulative distribution function, so it is represented using capital F of x, which is equal to 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda into x for x greater than or equal to 0 and 0 otherwise. Now, the purpose is to generate what x1, x2 and so on that have exponential distribution, that is the variates. The, we need to follow the procedure. The first procedure is what? Compute CDF. So what is the CDF we have? 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda into x. So consider f of x equals to 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda into x. Next step is what? We need to set, okay, f of x equals to what? R, which is your random number. So what we are going to do, what is the value of f of x? It is 1 minus e min to the power of minus lambda into x. Substitute at this particular place and keep r. 
fine now we need to identify what f inverse of r f inverse of r is calculated by okay making the variation with respect to which one the random variable that is x so solve for f of x equals to r in terms of x so it is 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda into x equals to r which is equal to okay shift this one to this side so it will become 1 minus r e to the power of minus lambda into x then finally uh, this implies fine minus lambda into x equals to so i'm converting this because i need in terms of which one that is x so this will be log of 1 minus r calculate only x so x equals to minus 1 by lambda log n of 1 minus r so this is what we are generating in terms of which one now in terms of x this can also be written as what x equals to f inverse of what that is r the last step is what generate random generate r1 r2 and r3 and compute xi using xi equals to f inverse of r as ri is uniformly distributed 1 minus ri can also be replaced by ri that is xi equals to minus 1 by lambda log of one, that is ri using the above formula above formula one can generate what the random variant so these are the steps we need to follow the four steps for which one for the exponential distribution by using which technique inverse transform technique we'll take an example now fine now uh, generate exponential random variate using the distribution i need to generate the exponential random variable that is x1 okay x2 and so on fine with the parameter value that is lambda equals to 1 given the random numbers are 1 2 3 these are the random numbers so this will be r1 this will be random number 2 this will be r3 this will be r4 and finally this will be r5 so that is what they have given here in the generate r1 r2 and r3 and compute what xi r1 r2 r3 if you want to generate you can use any one of the techniques that is random generation techniques after generating the random numbers you can compute xi for a particular distribution that is for what the random variate generation now given the parameter value lambda equals to 1 we know that the random variate are generated using the random number with the help of the formula what is the formula we are using that is x equals to minus 1 by lambda log of 1 minus r fine now i need to calculate the value for xi fine so how many random numbers are there five random numbers so generate how many random variates for exponential distribution five random variates so um, this log n is nothing but log log the base of ri fine now i'll just i'll take the in the form of table given i'm going to consider i because x i varies from 1 to 5 because how many random numbers are given that is 5 so i value will vary from what 1 then once again 2 then once again 3 then 4 then followed by what that is so we have taking this in the form of table i equals to 1 2 3 4 5 given random number it's already given here 0 0.1306 0 0.422 0 0.6597 0 0.7965 and 0 0.7696 the same thing has been written in the second row i need to calculate xi how i'm going to calculate xi the first value that is x1 is calculated using okay minus ln of okay that is nothing but minus 1 by lambda okay you need to consider minus 1 by lambda lambda is 1 minus 1 by 1 is what 1 so it is minus of log n of 1 minus take the first random number what is the first random number it is 0 0.1306 calculate it you'll get the value 0 0.1399 okay second one again take what the second random number calculate it you'll get 0 0.4 0 0.0431 in the similar way you just calculate for the third random number the fourth and the fifth one so the random variates that we are going to get us so these are the random variates for which type of distribution now that is the exponential distribution so what we do is uh, these samples are given as an input to the um, simulation model in while um, considering the input uh, simulation model we are going to fit these values to distribution and check whether these values are properly distributed 
uh, properly fitting the uh, considered distribution or not fine so that uh, test is again made when we are going to consider the sample uh, as an in, as an um, input to the simulation model so this is all about what the inverse transfer technique on which type of distribution the exponential distribution fine uh, in similar way we'll take up the next one inverse transform technique for the next type of distribution what is the distribution that we are going to consider it as uniform distribution so once again the uniform distribution always we'll be having an interval the interval is a b so we'll be having two values a b so within this interval we'll be having the values for which distribution the uniform distribution a random variable x having uniform distribution in the interval a comma b as once again pdf the pdf is given as 1 divided by b minus a then cdf is given as okay 0 if x is less than a x minus a divided by b minus a if a less than or equal to x less than or equal to b 1 if x is greater than B. Now, to apply inverse transform technique to generate the random variates which follows the uniform distribution, the following steps needs to be applied. Fine. So, what is the first step? Consider CDF. So, we need to once again um, find the F inverse of R in terms of X. So, X is present only where now? Here. So, consider the CDF that is X minus A divided by b minus a then set f of x equals to r so substitute the f of x as what x minus a divided by b minus a equals to r now solve in terms of what x so x minus a equals to b minus a into r so i need to solve in terms of what x so x equals to a plus b minus a into R. Now, given a set of random numbers, so random numbers will be given. If random numbers are not given, generate the random numbers by using either linear congruential method or combined linear congruential method or any other methods that are available. Then compute the random variates for the distribution that is considered. Here we are considering what type of distribution? The uniform distribution by using the formula x of i equals to a plus b minus a into r i the same steps okay now we'll take an example generate random variate that follows uniform distribution in the interval what is the interval that is given 3 comma 5 so this will be your a value and this will be your b value given the random numbers how many random numbers are given now five random numbers so we have r1 then once again r2 then once again this is r3 4 and Five. So we need to generate how many random variates? Five random variates. So uniform distribution is in of in the interval. What is the interval? Three comma five. That is a equals to three and b equals to five. For the given set of random numbers, the random variates are generated using the formula x i equals to a plus b minus a into r i. So we know the value of a. We know the value of b. We know the random numbers. And once again, i value starts from where to where now i value starts from 1 2 3 4 up to 5 so i first time will calculate x1 this will become r1 the first random number x2 x3 and so on okay so i'll just I'll take up a table like this fine so ri is given ri the first value is 0 0.799 xi is given so xi need to be calculated how we are going to calculate take this substitute the value of ab3 plus b is what 5 minus 3 into ri ri value is given you'll get the answer as 4.558 to calculate and verify it in the similar way calculate the value for x2 x3 x4 and x5 so this is how we are going to use the distribution that is uniform distribution to generate the samples which are given as an input to the simulation 